I'm walking along the uh, probably somewhere near Lake between Sandown and Shanklin. That's Sandown over there. And that's uh, Shanklin around there where we've come from. We came along the top of the cliff to start with and then dropped down onto the seaway and the sea is very rough. It's a very windy day. Getting the odd rain shower as well. Kids play, playing, playing in the sand. There's beach huts. Karen's granddad used to have one down around here. It looked like that, but. Uh, moved a few years ago. It was called York. <laughs> Strange weather. We're, what is it? 6th of July. Fixing was two days ago, so it's 6th of July and it's, uh, we've had torrential rain last night. But, uh, it's England in the summer. Nice walkway this, cyclists and runners and walkers. This looks like it's uh, falling down. And Sandown Pier in the distance. The cliffs over there, Culver Cliff earlier on, it was in bright sunshine. It was very white, but it's clouded over over there. But you can see why there's big clouds over there. Beautiful blue skies up there as well behind us. Some nice wildflowers on the cliffs here. And you see there's been lots of landfalls, but look at these colours. They're all propped up of these cliffs. But look at the pinks, purples, reds. Oh. Cyclists. It's a nice walk, it's a couple of miles I think between, maybe a bit more, between Shanklin and Sandown. We did the first mile or so, a mile and a half along the top. No, the first mile I would say. More flowers. We've just passed it a little bit those. And uh, we've dropped down, as I say, we did the first mile. We've dropped down, we've seen loads of people walking, dogs both above us on the tops and uh, down here like that one I'm in t-shirt not shorts though it's got a jacket on dragged rain coats a couple of times because it comes over for about 30 seconds rains by the time you get your raincoat on it's stopped I think is this Lake Beach here, Karen, or are we? See, the sea sea's right in. Normally there's a beach along here. When this goes out, there'll be a nice beach. I'm just dodging the splashes from the sea. So far, I missed them. There you go. Yeah, those steps would take you down to the sands. I think we're sitting here and having a rest. Have a little rest, carry on walking. Get wet here. Miss me. Yeah. 
This is a cafe here, look. That's one cafe. And there's a couple or so at least that we saw on the top of the cliff tops. Hideaway and Blueberry or something, cafe? Blueberry. Hideaway and Blueberry. <laughs> and trade winds we've passed down here, isn't it? I don't know what this one is. Not quite ice cream time, after a full English breakfast a couple of hours or so ago, it's just after midday now. Pioneer Cafe. Fruit tea cake, butter, strawberry jam, fruit scone. And they've just uh, reopened the toilets here at the revetment. There they are. Oh, she's, got, she's got to go and try the new toilets, so I'll have to try the gents. So the toilets are just back there, past the beach huts. You see, it looks it's a nice picture with the rough seas and yeah, they where the loos were. It was Lake Slipway, and we used to come down them from Karen's granddad lived in Lake. And they had a beach hut round about here, I would say, but they've all gone because the, uh, the cliff has slipped away. This wasn't a footpath like this, was it? It was mud, well, not mud, but sand and hard. Yeah, there was sand and hard clay, I think, wasn't it? And when the sea's out, there's plenty of sand. Well, it was then, <laughs> but no, it used to come up to the wall, sea wall here then, obviously. And uh, had some very happy times down here before and after the kids were born. Remember comedian Charlie Williams, who was playing at the Sun Sundown Pier Theatre, wandering along here every morning talking to us. <laughs> Gonna get wet here. No. Nope. Gonna get wet here, are we? I just thought I'd film it. And we have another cafe up here. There didn't used to be all these cafes, did there? We sat here last year, I think, didn't we? A couple of years ago. You can see where it's all slipped away, though, here. Yeah, it's just one. It's very smooth. I think some of these are quite nice restaurants up here as well. I think they've got good reputations. When the sea's out, it's a nice place to sit and watch the world go by. Yeah, restaurant there. Clotted cream, ice cream, teas. So, that's Sundown Pier over there. There's amusements first part on the left side. And uh, it used to be a theatre. It's now a sort of a crazy golf or a jungle golf I think it is. And at the end there's some uh, rides and things. Now these all have uh, names, Puddle Hut, Romeo and Julie Hut. Broken hooted, Karen. Why don't they, that's a noise, me. People won't walk in single file. 
They expect you to move over because they're in double file, so I, I stayed there on purpose. I can be nasty. Fourth, fours. Uh, that must be four. Four, is it? No, fourteen. <laughs> Sixty. Fly Emirates. Postructive. I think. Uh, Mint for net hook tour. Feeling hot, hot foot. He writes uh, jokes for Christmas crackers. And I think this is something that was, whether it is now. Sea Scouts, yeah. Yeah. And we're nearly. Uh, Get into the uh, end of the walkway, into the pier. Some work going on here. That's the independent lifeboat. Sundown and Shanklin independent lifeboat. These are built up here. These sort of. There's some of them there. Look, it's a real mess. But they've all move back obviously and in front of us there are luxury flats I think apartments we call them flats and we're getting to the beach so see Sandown Pier much better now <laughs> driftwood or something there it's like a tree trunk <laughs> bit rocky around here but the sands up here are really good now I think this is quite a nice restaurant here you see Karen along here I think it's open on an evening South Park up there. It's a big one. All private there, you know. Look at this. This is the beach shack. I think I've been uh, told I'm sitting and having a drink, so we'll finish it here. So nice and refreshed after a coffee and uh, we'll finish off properly. Walk along the uh, front here. Towards Sandown Pier. Is it that one? I can't see. <laughs> hey? Sorry? Yeah. He's polishing. And we'll just sit on our seat of Karen, Karen's aunt. She has her own seat here. So we're sat on the bench that Karen's uh, aunt who lived on the Isle of Wight for, well, since in the 60s until she passed away a few years ago. She used to like that cafe. It's changed hands in the last year, I think it was. We came and it just changed hands with the bubble. And it's rather nice one as well. Lots of cafes. Rather nice food there. Nice place to sit. And we should always come down. One didn't have the beach up. This was our uh, after Karen's granddad passed away, died. We uh, used to come down to this beach. Oh, 20 odd years ago, 25 years ago, and Karen's cousin had the beach or whatever you call it. 
the franchise on the beach so we know this beach rather well and it's strange seeing the very very high tide I've even put uh, the deck chairs out on the early morning with him when I came down one year <laughs> got up came down with him early morning put the deck chairs out and then uh, went back to his home for a bacon butty so there's Sandown Pier whole days of fun whole days fun in one it's a very hot day now and just opposite the pier there the pub there or the Hotel Bayshaw and just beyond there is the Premier Inn that opened a couple of years ago I think it was stayed in it one night last year You walk up that slope into the town. And we'll just uh, go to the side of the pier and show you the view down there. Your seats, benches to sit on today. You're having uh, snacks and things. A bit more sand over here. That's sand down. And I'll finish, finally finish this uh, little walk video that turned out longer than I thought. And you hear the wind, it's pretty strong. Subscribe, follow, or do whatever people tell you to do.